Auto-tune is everywhere. I mean, you turn a Top 40 station on and it's on almost every single song. This robotic, manipulated voice that sounds absolutely nothing like a human. Yo, I got that hit to beat the block. Up above the world so high. Like I was working in the oil industry applying digital signal processing to seismic data to find oil. And I applied that towards computing the pitch of a singer's voice. And I created an algorithm that would change a singer's pitch so that a singer's voice would be perfectly in tune. And that's called auto-tune. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. People use auto-tune in two ways, and by far the most prevalent way is to take a typical song and make it in tune, better in tune. And when it's used that way, you don't know it. You can't tell. To kind of put auto-tune into perspective, think of it in the same way as Photoshop. When you're hearing a singer that doesn't sound like they're being corrected, in actuality, they probably are. It's on almost every song. The biggest impact it's had is the one people know least about. That has greatly changed the economics of sound studios. Now, there is no need to do multiple takes. There's no need to try to seek that perfect output because it can all just be fixed in post. <laughs> There's no bad notes. There's no out of tune notes. But now we're in the digital domain, not going anywhere. We're there for good. The, these things are tools, and, and what you make of tools, it depends on the artist. And the Grammy goes to... Bonnie Bear! It's a tool that has opened my brain to other ways to use my voice. That's how I see it. It's not about being in tune, it's more about how that notes sort of slam into synthetic, perfect harmony. And I think that using an acoustic instrument such as your voice, ending up in a synthetic place, I think is a really interesting th thing. It, it's simple to say that it's the first time that we've had a way to take our human voice, other than like using microphones, which is actually a pretty current phenomenon. We just learned how to use microphones very recently in human history. This is like the next step in, in figuring out how to make human voices translate in multiple ways. You know, Auto-tune second, microphones are first, you know.